Vader was over there a lot in those days too. Yeah. Did you get along well with uh, Vader? Yeah, you know, Vader. We we had an we had an understanding. Vader and I see Vader broke in with Brad Rankins at that camp, and I helped Brad break him in. Um, he was a football player from Colorado. He got a he got a he got a little squirrely there a couple times at the wrestling school, and uh, we end up Brad and him wrestled. And he ended up breaking down the couple walls where the restrooms were at. I mean, we tore some stuff up. He he get a little, he, you know, he's a big boy. And you start throwing him. Brad was, you know, Olympic champion. He's, you don't mess with him. He freaking threw him through some walls and he wore him out. So <laughs> it just so happened he come into the business and he was big over in Japan. And, you know, we were at WCW and, and I had already had that encounter with him back. At, so we had an understanding before we even went out there, you know. What was that incident that happened with Vader in Japan that was kind of the end of his... Uh... I think he called out Anoki on uh, a couple things that were going on over there. And over there in Japan, it's you know, not only is it... You know, it's kind of like... Um, I think there were some underworld, under things going on, and I think Vader went a little too far. And, um, and I think somebody other than Anoki kind of yanked his chain and stopped his deal. Yeah, yeah. He kind of, you know, he got. I think he got comfortable, and then he took. Yeah, I think he took th things in his own hands. He shouldn't have never even thought about doing. And he did it. Mm -hmm.